Alrighty, so the uh, canopy kitchen is well and truly on the way. Uh, since the last episode, we've gone ahead and installed some hardcore lights, which I'm about to install one now, which will go over the uh, slide out kitchen. The fridge will be installed here. We'll have our divider coming up through the middle. Have our shelf here, which is gonna have the 13 liter Big Bertha oven. And then we also have our uh, gas cooker, which is on a slide. And then I'll just hook onto the gas around. We'll install this light just on top here. Uh, turn that on. So that, that will give us light to see all our, our pantry items and stuff. And then once we get another shelf in for the oven, we can have it on the light there. But we'll go ahead and get these flush mount clips that you just screw the roof and then these just simply uh, click on. So we'll get two mounts there, stick on the light, uh, conjure up all the wiring, and then um, the light's installed and good to go. So that light is good, plugged in and good to go. So chuck that on, We've got the three different modes there. So we just tied it up uh, with a little bit of conduit. It turned out looking really nice. Uh, the third light will be installed once we have that shelf in. And for now, we'll crack on to the panel and install in the fridge. All right, so we've mounted these uh, brackets to the back and both sides of the fridge. We're just gonna get some uh, hex screws and there'll be two in the left two on the right and then we have three in the back which go down to the timber slats that are underneath the floor. So we'll uh, screw them in and then that's the fridge secured. Waiting for this moment for so long. Oh, been on for about 15 minutes and already it's really cold. Uh, the freeze is very cold already as well, so came up looking really good. But yeah, that's the uh, the fridge installed. It's really sturdy as well. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So, and it's just been plugged in in that Anderson plug there and uh, fused up 15 amp fuse. And uh, all this cord and conduit will be uh, tucked away nicely once I get some more. Uh, Cable timeouts, but uh, yeah, it's in and I'm bloody stoked. It's an understatement. I uh, just got to fill it with beers. Just went to my fabricator's house and picked up the uh, divider and the shelf, which turned out uh, absolutely perfect. Um, out, made out of three mil alley, so um, you know it's going to be strong and be able to withstand all the driving and stuff we're going to do. But um, we're going to get the Big Bertha oven and we'll just chuck it on this top shelf here bolt it down this is to uh, come with the kit so they just sit in the side like that and then we'll get some uh, m5 bolts and uh, screw straight down to the floor Big Bertha Road Chef is in. This thing is huge, super simple install as you saw. Uh, comes with this little tray here, plus also two wire rack trays as well, so you can get pipes and stuff in, but huge amount of room. Yeah. Swing around to the other side. So here comes our uh, wire out through, and this will just plug straight into this Anderson plug here, and then we'll fuse it with a 30 amp hour fuse. When both elements are on, it actually takes up 21 amps, so we'll fuse it to 30, and we'll have no dramas there, but again, we're still waiting on those cable timeouts so we can make everything nice and tidy. So that wraps up today's video. Again, I'm super stoked how everything's turned out. It does pay to uh, you know spend a little bit extra and uh, get stuff that's gonna last, and it's, it's gonna make the whole camping experience so much better. So. Plenty of storage in here. There's gonna be heaps of roast chooks and meat pies on the go uh, while we're traveling and it, it will end up saving you money in the end because you don't stock it and take out and you know, all that does add up pretty quickly. Uh, having the cooker here is super convenient. I wanted it in a permanent spot. So 
you just slide it out and you can be cooking, you know, within under a minute sort of thing. So, and good use of space here, we have the, uh, the knife wrap, but that sums up today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, just uh, go ahead and subscribe. So anyway, next time we'll be uh, sorting out the other storage side, chucking in some drawers. And then also in here, we're going to be doing some uh, boxes and stuff for our pots, pans and dry goods. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.